Hi everybody and uh, welcome back. This is Greg from Greg Harding Photography. Um, and just a quick follow up from the sharpening um, tutorial I put on a little while ago. Uh, this is, uh, I wanted to show you how you would go about applying that sharpening filter across all of your images um, that you're outputting. This um, you can see in front of you is just a selection of images that my clients picked. Um, they want those as uh, full res output files. Um, so they can use them for billboards or their marketing and publications. So essentially what I'm going to do is to you know, output these and then apply that high pass sharpening to each of the files. Now I want to show you how to speed that process up. So um, you can select all the images and through the export module you can, uh, I've put in some user presets which gives, just basically gives me the full res output or a publication which is 3000 pixel output or an on-screen show uh, presentation which um, is suitable for presentations on web stuff which is uh, about 800 pixels but um, today I'm just going to throw them out as uh, full res uh, JPEGs I've done that previously in true Blue Peter style and you can see here that these are the JPEGs that it's put out and they're between sort of five and seven megs. So um, essentially you would open those up into Photoshop and then just go through the images one by one and apply the high pass sharpen. Now that's a bit slow. So I wanted to show you just quickly how to do that uh, so you can automate it. And in Photoshop there is a nice uh, little function called actions where you can record your own actions. And I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So make yourself a new folder. I'm going to call that GHP because that's where I store all my actions and create a new action. Now I'm going to call this high pass sharpen. Oh, oh pass sharpen. We'll just make a quick amend to that sharpen. And you can start recording. So the moment you start recording, it records your keystrokes. And all I'm going to do is to duplicate the layer, make it black and white, and then Put my high pass sharpen across it change the the, the uh, blend of the layer to overlay and then i can merge down the images and you can see it's recorded all of these actions in this little um, action so all i need to do is to say i don't want to uh, i want it to stop recording now and that's re stop recording and now i can close that image down i'm not going to save it for now but I'm going to just show you how quickly it will apply those on another image. For example, we've got another image here. Highlight the, uh, the action and just press play. And it applies the sharpen straight to the image. And it, it's ready to be saved. Now, you could, if you wanted to, go and open each of these and then one by one apply the action. That's even slower. So what I want to do is to show you how to do it even quicker than that. Within the CS um, uh, uh, list of programs, there is a program called Bridge, and uh, I'm using CS4. Uh, I've just navigated to the, uh, the full res folder with all of the images on there, and I've just selected it. Um, so you select all the images. You can then go to Tools, and under Photoshop, there's a little thing called Image Processor. And that pulls up a little dialog which allows you to run actions through the bridge processor. You can ask it to save out as different qualities or as PSDs or as TIFF files. And it also you could ask it to resize along the way. All I want to do is to get it just to output as quality term JPEG and run the action at the same time. So run the action and you'll see it's going to go, it's going to open each individual um, image without me having to be anywhere near it. I can go off and make myself a cup of tea, enjoy a biscuit and then come back uh, and to find them all ready for me. So I hope that's been informative for you and um, uh, if stay tuned for some more hints and tips from Greg Harding Photography. I'll see you later. Thanks and bye-bye.